Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello there. Hi. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let's get started, people, this evening. I'm going to start with the attendance, so please uh, respond when you hear your name and turn on your cameras, okay? Ada Veronica Muñoz de Fuentes. Present. Okay, Ada, welcome back. Alicia Perez Gavidia. Alicia, not here. Andrea Isabel Siu. Brenda Claribel Mejia. It's me. Okay. Cecilio Antonio Cortez. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Claudia Maria Gomez. Diana Patricia Orantes. It's me, present teacher. Okay, welcome. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez. Present teacher, good evening. Good evening. Great here. Jennifer Nuset Arevalo. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Antonio Brand de Paz. Present teacher. Okay. Catherine Marielos Melendez. Present teacher. Okay. Lenin Hernandez Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Luis Alfredo Aguilar. Present teacher. Okay. Miguel Antonio Rodriguez. Not here. Nelson Eduardo Alfaro. Noé Ezequiel Rivera. Present teacher. Okay. Norma Lisette Crespin. Oscar Alexander Dominguez. Reina Isabel Romero. I'm here. Olivia Raquel Rodriguez. 
Presente. Silvia Esther Rivera. Okay. Double check. Teacher. Yeah. Aquí estoy. Who? Mary Abigail. Mary Abigail didn't call you. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Alicia Pérez, Andrea Isabel, Brian Josué, Claudia María, Miguel Andrés. Antonio, Nelson Eduardo, Norma Lisset, Oscar Alexander. I'm here, teacher. Over. Okay. Uh, Silvia Esther. Okay. Okay, yesterday we finished with this conversation. Let me read it one more time. You can practice a little bit. Okay. The conversation between Kathy, John, and the waitress. Hey, this sounds good. Nails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snail? No, I haven't. Oh, they are delicious. I had them last time. Like, like to try some? No, thanks. They sound strange. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I'll have the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the, fry, the fried brains. Fried brains? Now, that really sounds strange. Okay. Let me... okay, let me highlight something, this question, for example. Have you ever eaten snails? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Uh, have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes, I have the snails, please, and you, I have, okay. So, in this, we're going to study these forms. These questions are in present perfect, what we call present perfect. Have you ever eaten snails? No, I haven't. Have you decided on an appetizer? Well, she says yes. Basically, yes. Okay. And then he gives more information. Well, um, let me show you a video that we have here regarding this topic. Simple path, we're going to study today. Simple path versus present perfect, okay? This is the topic we are going to study, the grammar we are going to study today. So let me prepare the video we have on the platform to study that, okay? Okay, here it is. All right, watch this, please. Take notes, and we're going to practice later.
Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about the kind of food that you've eaten and the restaurants that you've visited. You'll also learn how to express past experiences. For example, you'll be able to ask and answer the following question. Have you ever eaten exotic food? Before I present the structure that we'll learn in this class, I would like for you to listen to an audio program. This audio program illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully as I'll ask you questions about the audio program at the end. Hey, this sounds strange. Snails with garlic. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. I had them here just last week. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Why don't you try some? No, I don't think so. Have you decided on an appetizer yet? Yes. I'll have a small order of the snails, please. And you, sir? I think I'll have the fried brains. Fried brains? I've never heard of that. It sounds scary. Let me present the structure now. I would like to start by presenting this concept to you. The first thing is that we use the simple past for completed events at a definite time in the past. In other words, things that you did and have completed. And we use the present perfect for events within a time period up to the present time. In other words, events that you started in the past and those have continued to the present and they're not complete yet. Now, what we're going to learn in today's lesson is how the two are related. First of all, I may ask you a question, such as the one that you see on the example. Have you ever eaten snails? And your answer may be, yes, I have. And when you continue to give more information about your answer, you're going to use the simple past. And you're not going to use the present perfect to continue on giving more information because typically what you want to do is you want to express an experience that you had last week about that particular question, right? Such as the example that we see there. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. And I want you to notice the question towards the bottom. It's no longer in the present perfect, but it is now in the simple past. And that's because we're asking questions about our um, past experience. We're no longer asking questions about um, if you've ever eaten snails. Now the question is related to uh, the example that you see there, I tried him last month. And the next questions will be related to that event. And so the answer to that is, yes, I did. And then you give more information. They were delicious. And so we do the same thing uh, towards the left, towards, towards the right side of the example of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? We start off the question using the present perfect, and then you continue on and, and you give either a positive or a negative answer. And then in this case, it happens to be a negative answer. No, I haven't. Um, and then you might give more information, but I ate at a Thai restaurant last night, right? Um, and then the next questions that are followed here are in the simple past. Did you go alone? No, I went with some friends. Now that we understand the concept on how this topic is used, what I would like to do now is I would like to explain how to form questions using the present perfect. And, um, and so let me do that at this time. First of all, uh, we should learn the following concept that we're going to use have. Have it's an auxiliary verb. And we're going to use have whenever I talk about the pronouns I, you, we, and they. And then I will use has whenever I talk about the pronouns he, she, or it, or in other words, third person, right? Um, and um, so having said this, what I would like to do now is I would like to present the structure on how to form those questions. Let me do that at this time. In order for us to form the questions, the first thing that we should include is an auxiliary have or has, as I mentioned, if we follow this rule, we learned that 
we're either going to use have if I talk about I, you, we, or they, and we use has whenever we talk about the third person. So in this case, um, we're going to use have, um, and then this follows the subject, then this follows the word ever, and then the verb in its past participle form, and then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever eaten snails? And by the way, um, this word here is a frequency adverb, so sometimes you can remove it, um, and um, the question will still be correct. But in this case, we want to use it. Have you ever eaten snails? Um, and what I mentioned was that you can either answer this question with a positive response, such as yes, I have, or this could be a negative response, such as no, I haven't. And so just so that we can see clearly what's happening, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with the colors at this time. All right, there we go. So have you ever eaten snails? And it's the same thing um, for our next question. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? So let's do that one as well. So I'm going to use have. This follows the subject. And then we're using the word ever. So we use the verb to be in this case in the past participle form. And then whatever complement that exists. So in this case, have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? And then once again, the answer to that particular question can be, yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And what I would like for you to notice now is how we respond to that kind of question, right? I mentioned that we can either have a positive response to that question, either yes, I have, or no, I haven't. And then this next sentence, we're typically going to follow with a simple past statement. And the reason is because um, I'm going to talk about my experience in the past. So in this case, I'm going to say I tried them last month. So this statement here basically talks about that past experience that I had, which is related to this topic, right? So have you ever eaten snails? And my, my answer to that question is, yes, I have. I tried them last month, so I, I'm using the simple past. And um, now, the next questions that you see there, which is what I mentioned earlier, are in the simple past. Did you like them? Now, all the questions are related to this event that you see here, right? It's no longer this question that you're answering. You're answering the next question. I tried them last month. So you want more information about this event from last month. Did you like them? And as you can see, the answer, yes, I did. They were delicious. And we can see the same example towards the right side of this chart. Have you ever been to a Vietnamese restaurant? Well, the answer to that question is, no, I haven't. But I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. The next question that is asked here has to do with this answer. I ate at a Thai restaurant last night. Oh, did you go alone? Um, this question refers to the person going to that Thai restaurant last night. And he answers, no, I went with some friends. So as you can see, we use a combination of both the present perfect and the simple past to talk about things that you either started in the past, continue the present. And then when you want to go into talking about a past experience, that's when we use the simple past. So let's see if we can do a couple of more questions. Um, have you ever tried sushi? How would you respond to that question? Well, typically most people have, so most people will say yes, I have. And so tell me about that experience, okay? So. If you're going to tell me about that experience, then that's when we're, whenever we're going to use the um, simple past. So how would you tell me about that past experience? Well, have you ever tried sushi? Yes, I have. I um, ate sushi last month. Oh, sorry. I ate sushi last month. Oh, really? And then whenever 
you start talking about that past experience. The next questions that will follow will be in the simple past. Did you like did you like it? Now, how would you respond to that? Well you can you can respond to that by answering yes I did or no I didn't. I thought it was great or I didn't like it. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to answer the following questions. Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Have you ever eaten Mexican food? Have you ever visited Europe? Have you ever eaten exotic food? Um, as you answer these questions, what I would like for you to do is to answer the question with either yes I have and then I want you to tell me that past experience. So similar to the examples that we see on the chart, let's say the question is have you ever eaten Mexican food? And let's say that your answer is yes I have then you will tell me where and how did you like it so as you can see what I'm trying to get to is that you give me your response and then you give me information about that particular past event and that's what I would like for you to do for all of those questions there Okie dokie, well, let's go back. An experience to... that you had last week about that present perfect. And then you, for us to form the questions. Okay, first I want to show you the structure of the present perfect questions. Okay. This question, what is the structure for this kind of questions? Have you ever eaten snails? Well, the first thing is the auxiliary have. Remember, we use have with the subjects I, you, we, and they. Or the auxiliary has that we use with he, she, or it. Right? After that comes the subject. Have you ever then the past participle, the verb in past participle, have you ever eaten the past participle of it? And finally, the complement snail. So this is the structure for these kind of questions. Okay. Yeah. For example, if we want to talk about another person, has she ever eaten? Octopus. Has she ever eaten octopus? Because we are using she, the subject is, or, or the auxiliary is has. Okay. And have uh, they ever uh, something else gone to uh, Paris have they ever gone to Paris okay here because the subject is they we use have so remember that okay Okay, and um, 
how, Teacher, how I have you... a question. Uh -huh. uh, when I can use, uh, have you ever, or have you ever, and I can, uh, I could use the past participle only. The verb. Okay. The verb. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, you can ask that. Have you eaten snail? snail? Yeah, but ever gives emphasis uh, if to ask you if sometime okay you have eaten uh, snail so there are many forms we can ask this question another form is have you eaten snails yet that's another form. Is it similar? Yeah. Is it the same? Yes. Have you eaten snails already? But ever give the idea if this is your first time or not. That is the idea. Is this the first time or to ask you if sometime in your life you have done that? That is the emphasis of ever. Okay. So there are different ways to ask the same question. Now, uh, well, how do we respond to these kind of questions? Because these are just no questions. Have you ever eaten snails? Well, yes, I have. You see? Yes, I have. Or, no, I haven't. Okay? And then you can explain. And the uh, further explanation Uh, for the explanation for we use the simple past. That's what I want to say. Yes, I have. I tried them last month. Usually when you when we use uh, when we mention the specific time in the past like this, last month, I mentioned exactly when that happened, we use the simple past. Yeah, this is one form. Because we can respond in different ways. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have, for example. I have eaten them many times. That is one form. I'm not giving a specific information. I'm not telling you exactly when. Okay? Because if I want to tell you, I want to speak about a particular experience, I say, I tried them uh, the last weekend at the beach. So I'm giving you a specific information, specific time, a specific ex experience. I tried them the last weekend. When we use uh, time expressions, when we specify the time, we use the simple past and not the
the present perfect. The present perfect. Uh, as they say he, here, is for events within a time period up to the present. Okay. I'm giving you information, but not exact information. In a period of time, in the past, but not. I'm not telling you when. When we describe the exact time, we better use the simple past. Use the simple past for completed event at a definite time in the past. You see, when we mention the time, we better use simple past. Okay? Any other question, people? Yes, I have. Tell me. Um, okay, I understand I use have um, or has. Yes. Why, why not use did? Okay. Um, did is for a specific time question. Okay. So, the, that's why the next question here is with this. Okay. You respond. Have you ever eaten snail? Have you ever eaten a snail? Yes, I have. I tried them last month. Okay. I tried them last month. Then I ask you, did you like them? Did you like them? We use simple past with this for a specific ex event, a specific uh Yes, event, activity. See? Did you like them? So I'm, I'm referring to this. You said you tried them and I'm asking you about this. Did you like them? Yes, I did. They were delicious. Okay. So, but if I don't have a, a specific time, I cannot use simple past. I better use present perfect. Okay. Thank you, mister. I got it. Okay, any other question, people? What else do we have here? Okay, we better practice. Let's go back to the manual here. Okay, you see the difference here again between present perfect and simple past. Simple past or completed at a definite time in the past. Do you eat snails at a restaurant last night? No, I didn't. Did you go out for dinner on Saturday? Yes, I did. I went to a Korean restaurant last week. <clears throat> so you see we have specific time last night on Saturday. 
last week. But here, we don't have a specific time. Present, um, present perfect is for events within a time period up to the present. Have you ever eaten snail? No, I haven't. When? I'm not asking about a specific time. Have you been to a French restaurant? There's no time, for specific time. Yes, I have. <clears throat> I've never been to a Greek restaurant. There's no specific time, okay? So, in this exercise, we have some sentences or some short conversation or five short conversations. Okay? Then you have to complete the questions and the answers. Some questions are in present perfect. You see? Have you ever? You have the verb. Must be in this case past participle. Other questions are in simple past. Did you? And you have the verb. You have to respond in simple past. Okay. Okay, I will give you time to complete this short conversation with uh, questions and answers, okay? I'm going to share this to WhatsApp. There you are. Then I will also send you to working groups so you can help each other with that exercise. Work together to complete the conversation. And when you finish with the conversations, practice them, okay? Practice them together. And later we are going to practice here. So go to your groups, please, and complete the conversations together. See you in 10 minutes.
Okay, people, welcome back. Let's check your work. Number one, let me add to, let me see. Okay, Reina, give me the question of, for number one, please. Have you ever been to a been. picnic at the beach? Been, okay. Thank you. Olivia, give me the answer. Olivia. Um, yes. I, I, I have. Um, yes, I have. Correct. Very good. Yes, I have. Thank you. Um, Noe, give me the question for number two. Okay. okay, Maris, the question for number two. B, um, do you have dinner at home last night? Have. Have. Lenin, the answer for number two. Uh, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna. No. When? Yeah, I went. I went. And here? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. Uh, Catherine, the question number three. Right. Read the question, please. Right. Okay, but better read the question. The answer, uh, Juan. Ah, okay, is the number three, right? Letter A, have you tried sushi? The answer. Answer, uh, letter B, no, I haven't, but I like to. Number four, Jennifer, the question. Eugenio, number four, the question. Uh, did you have breakfast this morning? Yes. Uh, Diana, the answer for number four. Diana? Sorry, I speak with, <laughs> with the microphone in mute. Okay. Yes, I have. No. In the four, did you have? 
breakfast this morning? Okay, yes, I did. I eaten. No. Why not? I Sim simple eight. past. Eight. Yeah. We are talking about this morning. It's a specific time. Okay, Brenda, the question for number five. Have you ever e ate at the Mexican restaurant? No. The past eat? participle. Eat? No. The past participle. Eaten. Yes. And... Ada Veronica, the answer for number five. Yes, I have. The food was delicious. Yes, perfect, perfect. Okay, people, let me read the conversations quickly and record them here for you in order to practice it later, okay? One, have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Yes, I have, it was fun. Two, did you have dinner at home last night? No, oh, I'm sorry, we made a mistake here. Ah, because this is, did you have? It's a simple path. Hey, nobody told me. Come on. I did it on purpose. I did it on purpose. <laughs> we kind of sleep it today. <laughs> okay. I, uh, me too. <laughs> I missed it because it is this. It's you almost have... Friday. That's why. Oh, yeah, that's why. Okay. Two. Did you have dinner at home last night? I didn't. I went out for dinner. Three, have you tried uh, sushi? No, I haven't, but I'd like to. Four, did you have breakfast this morning? Yes, I did. I ate a huge breakfast. Five, have you ever eaten at a Mexican restaurant? Yes, I have. The food was delicious. Okay. Okay, people, that would be all for today because it is almost nine. Um, then you can practice responding the questions with your real answer, okay? So use these questions to practice with your personal answer, okay? Have you ever been to a picnic at the beach? Did you have dinner at home last night? Practice with those questions, responding with your own answers, and we'll continue on Monday. Monday will be the will be uh, well last is the last week actually. Okay, so we're about to finish, people. We are finishing the third week. Great. Okay. And applause. Yeah, applause to you. Hey, enjoy <laughs> this long weekend. Right? Enjoy yes. it. Yes. Be careful. If you go to the parades tomorrow, be careful. Bring a lot of water. Be careful with your children if you bring your children there. Okay, let's see okay. you on Monday. Okay, see you. thank you. Have bye a good bye. Day, everyone. Okay. bye bye. See you everyone. next Monday. Bye bye. bye. bye.